ઉકેલ નથી જોઈતી આ ધોલેરામાં બસો વીઘાની જમીનનો માને પચાસ હજાર રૂપિયાની લોન લેવી હોય તો એને વરખા પડી જતા હતા કારણ કે જમીનમાં તણસડું ઉગતું ન હતું ભાઈઓ બહેનો અમે આ ધોલેરાને સ્પેશિયલ ઇન્વેસ્ટમેન્ટ રીજન બનાવ્યો આવનારા દિવસોમાં ઇન્ટરનેશનલ એરપોર્ટ આ તમારા પડોશમાં આવવાનું છે ભાઈઓ ગુજરાતનો સૌથી સમૃદ્ધ આખા ગુજરાતનો જે જાહો જલાની સુરતમાં દેખાય છે જે જાહો જલાની વડોદરામાં દેખાય છે જે જાહો જલાની અમદાવાદમાં દેખાય છે જે જાહો જલાની રાજકોટમાં દેખાય છે Due to extensive investments in harnessing solar and wind power, the adjoining Kalpasal Dam will create a sweet water reservoir which will transform the area into a lush green landscape. And on the outskirts, it is proposed to further develop the Black Buck Sanctuary and the golf course as tourist attractions. The central spine of the Dolera SIR will be a 10-lane expressway. This will connect the SIR with Ahmedabad on the one hand and with the airport and seaports on the other. The SIR will also be linked with Ahmedabad city through a metro rail system. The SIR will be serviced by a world-class international airport and major seaports in the area. While the state government is committed to public investment in core infrastructure, it is also open to attracting private investments. The SIR will be governed by a new SIR Act, another first of its kind in India. The state government has already enacted the SIR Act. SIR is a self-governed economic region enjoying global benchmarks. It has the full support of the central government and the commitment of the state government and its leadership. It has the logistics support of the upcoming dedicated freight corridor or DFC between Delhi and Mumbai. The SIR will be serviced by the Gujarat International Finance Tech City, which is better known as GIFT. The Dolera SIR is a lifetime opportunity. The SIR offers a gamut of opportunities. Opportunities that exist in building its infrastructure. Opportunities that exist in setting up industries or other economic activities. Financial service sector is fast emerging as the growth engine with world-class technology, seamless connectivity, state-of-the-art infrastructure and the finest talent pool. Analysts forecast the sector is poised to contribute up to 10 to 11 million jobs by 2020 in India. It is against this conducive backdrop that gift the Gujarat International Finance Tech City. A Government of Gujarat project is being implemented by GIFT CL, a joint venture of GUDC and Island FS. Gujarat, a preferred investment destination due to its political stability, strong leadership, pro-business policies and vast talent pool. What's more, its intrinsic entrepreneurial spirit backed by reliable resources and strong infrastructure only adds to the advantage factor. The geostrategic positioning of GIFT will enable operators to service geographically extreme financial markets by bridging far-flung time zones. Accentuating the advantage factors, GIFT is located between Gandhinagar and Ahmedabad and also connected to the fastest growing Delhi-Mumbai industrial corridor planned along the NH8. GIFT also provides easy access to the Ahmedabad International Airport via a dedicated road link. Additionally, Metro and BRTS assures access to and fro from all sides. The bird's eye view reveals the... What is it?
गुप्ता जी मैं गाड़ी नंबर भी ले लेता हूँ ना यादगार के लिए प्रसाद जी हाँ। अरे वाह जोर से बोलो पिपली पिपली यस ये बात हुई ना हेलो 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 जी में हम आ गए हर तरफ आपको काम दिखेगा देखिए जहाँ जहाँ आपको जैसी भी है सब दिखेगा जी जी दादा उस तरफ मत जाना मिट्टी में गिर जाओगे वो पानी गहरा है भाई नीचे जाओ सर कम ये देखा जो 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 मैंने वहाँ पे वीडियो दिखाया था सर वही दिख रहा है यहाँ पे काम क्या कैसा डेवलप हो रहा है और अभी जिस रोड पे मैं लेके जाऊंगा वो मैंने रोड के टू मेक इट डज नॉट मीन दट दी प्रोवाइडर ऑफ दर्स सर्विसेज हैज टू बी दी पब्लिक Kant is aware of the situation and perhaps that is why the DMIC has sought around 18500 crore rupees to build the trunk infrastructure like drainage water supply and public transport one must realize that there is a very important component of the trunk infrastructure if you don't have good drainage if you don't have good sewage if you don't have if you don't crack the trunk infrastructure which is commercially not viable the other component of the private public partnership will not happen so the trunk infrastructure to our mind is the key and that is where the government needs to step in new cities uh, over a 30 year period are very commercially viable uh, they take a longer period they take 13 years 14 years to break even but once they break even then they generate a lot of resources and from that 13th year to the 30th year they in fact generate so much of resources that you can make many more cities but the key challenge here is that you should be able to monetize land value that is the key challenge monetizing land value is not the only challenge in fact the list of challenges is a rather long one from land acquisition to financing to govern when we come back we'll see at what the road ahead for dmic looks like braj bidani group and bloomberg utv present building india braj bidani group and bloomberg utv present building india That is how the future cities of a country would look like. If the projections by the DMIC project are anything to go by. It is perhaps the most ambitious project since independence. From building mega industrial zones to building mega cities. The DMIC wants to give the country a complete facelift. But planning is one thing. and translating plans into reality is another as pradeep singh the vice chairman and managing director of idfc project says master plans are often more violated than being followed in the history of our country and its cities the master plans have been less